Alright, so today we're doing uh, ed color editing 1 and 2, uh, 1 for grade 11 and 12. And now let's take a look. Close these windows. Okay, so the whole purpose of this is so that we can um, mm -hmm. turn this into a, a different color. So there are easier ways and there are are slightly more complicated ways to do this. But let's take a look. So let's open this car. Okay. So the easy way to do this is we can actually act, uh, we can actually go to uh, um, hue saturation. For the blue, you can actually change the blue color to another color that you like. But sometimes now. The thing is, this is actually not entirely blue. It, there's actually shade. So sometimes it will work like the apple that I used before. But right now, it's actually not changing the whole thing. It's actually only changing certain parts of the computer things it, that is uh, blue. So how do you do it in the, the, the way that for sure it will work? Let's take a look. So uh, this is the easy picture. And I'm going to explain to you why it's easy in a bit. So first of all, let's save the original in the background first, and so that we can also do before and after. Or you can actually do before and after right now, so to avoid not being able to find the picture, uh, the original picture. So you can go to a canvas size and do side by side. Side by side means that you will need to double the width and move one of them. So here, and if you want it to magnetically stick, then you will need to hold Control or on Mac Command, so it will stick to the closest edge. Okay. Now, let's work on the one on the right. Okay, try the one on the left first. So um, this is really what you need to do. Okay. Number one, in before you color anything, you need to take away color by desaturating it. Okay. And I'll show you how it looks like in, if you don't desaturate it. And so number two, uh, find a color that you like. Let's just say I'm feeling green today, okay? So, uh, or Bumblebee, for example, okay? If you watch Transformer, you will know. Um, let's see, I don't know what Bumblebee's color is, so I'm gonna do this. Bumblebee car. Uh, color code. Ooh, okay, there we go. Benjamin Moore. Okay, Bumblebee Yellow. Okay, cool. So this is actually from a paint company, Benjamin Moore. Okay. Uh, so you can do do this color. Come back here and paste it in here. This is the code for that particular color. And you click OK, and it will actually come back to be this. So you and then. Um, what you can do is to go to um, pen or pencil, okay? This is important. You go to overlay, create a new layer, with transparency, okay? Most of the computers will have transparency first. So transparency. Oh, okay. And then uh, there's another thing that you need to do. If you color right now, it won't see the effect. You go to the mode of the layer and choose overlay as well. So now when you color, you will actually color to um, the car. But here's the thing though, I don't actually want everything to be colored. For example, don't, the seat, I don't want to cover it. Okay? So, what I would need to do, you can actually carefully do that by. Okay? By go, go to overlay. Yeah, when you change tools. Okay? So, you can actually do this slowly, bit by bit with a smaller brush head. Or, you can. <coughs> you can uh, actually use a layer mask to hide it, okay? So you can actually do this first. 
and then you can add the layer mask. And I want to go to, uh, well, I need black. So I'm going to put black in the background. Okay. And I want something at uh, 150. Let's see. Okay, 150 is good. So, oh, I need white now. Right. Oh, you need to go back to normal mode. And hide the parts that you don't want. Right? Slow. Okay, you can do that if you want. And then you're gonna end up with the card as yellow. Okay? But let's just say I don't really like this yellow, for example. Okay, because uh, the paint company didn't really give me a good good yellow, for example. Then uh, what I can do is go to for example, I like this yellow better, but there are many yellows in here actually, because there's a shade. So, but I want it to look exactly like that. You can actually copy this image, paste it here. Mr. Young, I don't, I don't hear, hear you. you. Okay. Actually, use a <clears throat> eye chopper or color picker and pick that particular color, the shade of yellow that you want. That's yellow you want. Okay. So the same as the, the other yellow that I chose. Hmm. Nope, slightly different code. Okay. So we don't need that picture anymore. And then you can actually paint. A different color using another overlay overlay with another color and see which one you like but if you're not too particular then it's fine that's a color that you chose okay rather than this color okay Maybe the difference is very slight and you don't care that's fine so you can go over the area you want to go over, okay. Avoid a seat though, okay. Please watch the tutorial, okay. And then use the layer mask to hide whatever you don't want. That looks pretty good. Good. That's a yellow card, right? I will leave the uh, the logo out. I will leave the light out as well, right? So using a layer mask it will be much easier <coughs> to go back and forth, right? So. Uh, this is the easy picture. Now, well, let me show you what happens when you don't desaturate. And when you put yellow on it, it becomes green. And you don't want that. Okay? So, please make sure to desaturate the photo first. So, this is the easy one. And the reason why I say it's the easy one is because we were dealing with a black and white background. But when you deal with a um, picture that has color background, the story becomes quite different. So, for example, if you're dealing with this one, what you will need to do is okay, let me just get that photo in the GIMP first. Word, whatever it says. Okay. Oh. Okay. So what you will need to do is to only desaturate the card. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, same thing as what we did before. Take this out first. Desaturate it. Click OK. And then we are going to use a layer mask to hide the parts that we don't, we don't want. Because if you don't do that, you're going to have a black and white background. 
you don't want it you don't want to have the color be saturated back you only want to be saturated color so there's an extra step okay involved in not desaturating the background very okay, important okay so make sure you do that around the car okay i know i have to get much closer to it okay now i i messed up this part which is fine we can use uh let me just remember this color code oh okay never mind okay so that part okay cool so i want to color that with the yellow that we had before maybe it's this yellow 101 90d okay yeah that's the one so the past few colors are stayed in here so i click ok let's add the color to it now this time i want an overlay mode here okay but what if we don't use overlay in the, in the pencil it will still overlay, but the, the effect is slightly different, I would say, uh, as far as I remember. Let's see. Overlay. It's slightly different. And when you cross over, it will also be different as well. So really, it's your per personal preference. But when you, um, when you have experiment with different tools. Now, for example, when you use a pencil, Okay. and you overlay on top of each other the color will be different but if you use a pen it won't look different an airbrush won't look different I remember okay uh, maybe I was wrong okay so you really have to look for the tool that you that is the most suitable for you I think the pen will be uh, pencil will be most suitable for me because I, want, I, I actually want to go over oh, I undid this one I actually want to go over multiple times oh I mean pen, multiple times without worrying about it looking different okay and then I can use the layer mask to trace it again okay and you have a yellow card I'm really doing it roughly so that's for grade 11 by the way okay so for grade 12, for grade 12, your topics are slightly different. Let's take a look. Grade 12, you're going to change this person's shirt color to two other colors. So in fashion or, or, um, or product sales, a lot of times when you go to Amazon, they will sell five different colors of shirt. But the picture is exactly the same, and how do they do that? Uh, by putting over, by overlaying different colors on top of it. So I'm going to choose roughly around the area where I need the shirt to be. Copy from the original, paste, okay, and desaturate. Okay. Now here's a more more advanced way of doing this. If you would like, so I would want it to be red, for example. So I'm going to actually do this, name this as red. And let me choose a red. Okay, so this one grade 11 can learn from as well. Okay, so I am going to use a pen. Oh, forgot the overlays at all. So let me go to overlay. What happened? Oh, I'm overlaying black and white on top of it. No, I don't want to do that. I want to use another layer to overlay on top of it. Overlay. I want to do that. Okay, now after I do that, I can actually combine these two layers. Okay? Yes, Mr. Sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. It's, it's Alexander. Alexander. Uh, then, not until now, I would use a layer mask to hide whatever I don't like. I, I almost, almost don't, don't hear you, but, but my screen are fine. Brush head, for example. Then I can uh, hide what I don't like from, from this. Uh, 
careful. Remember, you need to use a normal mode, otherwise you don't, you're not affecting the um, the layer as much. Okay. Oops, I messed up something. Oh, okay, you bet. That's fine, uh, but I have to do this for the recording. Okay, that's how you do it. And the second thing is a bottle. Okay, you just desaturate the bottles and put colors into it. Remember different colors, okay?